before I go, I got this, uh, this, uh, I guess, this new poem. Um, I try to, um, I, I, I was out one day talking about like a lot of things I want to do in the, in the world and in the community and, you know, things that I was trying to do something positive. And it was like a heckler. Now most of the times when I go to open mics, they're not hecklers there. So it was a very unique experience for me. So I was saying to him how, you know, I want to, you know, work with the kids and teach them some stuff. And the guy from the back was like, hey man, you're just a poet. What can you do? You're just going to talk about it. And I was, you know, I kind of ignored him and went on with my speech talking about how, you know, maybe I would start an organization. Maybe I'll name it something like my people or something like that. And the guy was like, come on, you're a poet. And I mean, security was grabbing him up and stuff. And I was telling you guys, just take it easy. It's not that big of a deal. But finally, after a few minutes, I kind of got a little bothered by his, you know, criticism of what I thought I could do with the world. So I just basically said to him that, I am not just a poet. I'm the fear in your eyes, the fill in your gut, your sixth sense, saw a black person in a movie theater telling you, open your eyes, watch your back, here they come. I'm the first free slave walking off the plantation asking myself, what do I do now? I am Adam, walking by that damn tree every day, seeing that juicy forbidden fruit. I'm the Native American standing on the shores when those first ships arrive. I'm the shared soul of every revolutionary at the moment they decide things have to change. I'm the last man on earth after World War III. God help me because I am not just a poet. I'm a socially conscious soapbox speaker. Remind you of the plight of my people. I'm a reverend rabbi, imam, dropping bombs on you like in Iraq or Afghanistan. Stand. Call me Jesse Sharpton, Barack King, Malcolm Garvey, Huey Evers, Elijah Abernathy, or just call me Truth, Spitfire, Head Bob, or Crescendo. Clear window in the window. Lucky if you could call me friend, bro. But in the end, though, I am not just a poet. I'm an umbilical cord wrapped around a baby's neck, simultaneously giving and almost taking life. I'm the moment before you decide that love is the reason to fight. I'm the beautiful first light of the sunrise, waking you up, hitting your eyes, making you real you've lived another day. I'm the conversation with God when you ask me, lead me on the straight way. I'm a God, a man you and your best friend. A shoulder you can lean on, a person you can depend. I speak clear and concise, force listeners to ask why. Fight against those who lie, despise those who refuse to try, and demand those who can to understand that I am not just a poet. I'm a breath of fresh air. And with the power of my imagination, I create my existence each day. I'm the fifth prayer that's off the skip and needed the most. I'm the movement growing rapidly through purposely placed poems in the hands of the youth. I'm the drumbeat calling all young warriors to rise again and redeem their positions of greatness through education, community enhancement, and acting like they have some sense. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the thought that slipped in mind and remember will be the antecedent for world change. I am deja vu. I am deja vu. Remind you in so many ways we've been in before and we made it out and we can make it out again. I am not just a poet. I'm a rehabilitator rapper. Use spoken word is my method on. When I step to a microphone, it explodes like jism. Dropping bombs of wisdom from schools to prison. I come back with you to this open mic to keep this little girl from in my veins. When I miss my head, I go through a doll of pain in my brain. I know I'll never be the same as I was before. I keep using spoken word till I can't speak no more. Breaking it down to just words. It can't be spoken because I lost my addictive voice. To use is not my choice. My addiction comes from deep within and it's screaming from the pits of my soul that I am not just a poet. I'm a spoken word artist. Use my voice to paint pictures for your ears. I'm what the government fears. They know if everyone hears what I have to say, it'll take years for the movement to go away. Bullets will spray. You from on the streets, torch in hand, screaming, Viva Revolution! Viva Unity! Viva Revolution! Viva Unity! And wear t-shirts with silhouettes of pictures of me with words and bold letters that will read. I am not just a poet, I'm so much more. This is merely a vessel I use for travel. Like an onion, I take time to unravel. But I promise you there's a hell of a present in this box. Keep listening, you might be shocked to learn that I am not just a poet. I'm the last stands of a poem. Strong with the ability to stand alone. But I choose not to, because I'm happy to be a part of this piece. I'm a spoken word beast that can't be controlled or restrained by no beauty. And I feel like it is my duty to tell it like it is. So what I'm telling you is, I am not just a poet, I'm everything you see. Let me give you an example. I am the sky and clouds and rain. I am the tree and grass and soil. I am you, at least the best parts. I am the stage, which currently is on fire. I know what you're thinking because I am your brain. Am I fire? You already know the answer. I am this poem, which could go on and on 
and on. So let me get to the point. I am not just the poet. I am not just the poet. I am not just a poet. Oh.